The central bank chief of crisis-torn Lebanon, Riyad Salameh, who is wanted for alleged financial crimes in several European countries, handed over his post with no designated successor in place. First Vice Governor Wasim Mansouri, who will temporarily take over, warned that we are at a crossroad and urged politicians to implement reforms demanded by the International Monetary Fund in return for a bailout loan. This is the country's last chance, Mansouri said at a press conference, as Lebanon has endured a four-year economic crisis that the World Bank has labelled one of the worst in modern history. Lebanon's deeply divided political class has failed to agree on a permanent replacement for Salome, 73, creating another power vacuum in a country that also has no president and is ruled by a caretaker government. Salome, who held the post for 30 years, is a key figure of the Lebanese political elite widely blamed for the country's economic meltdown that has seen the currency collapse and poverty rates soar. The central bank has extended credit lines from its depleted coffers to the cash-strapped state mainly to pay government employees, subsidize some medicine and finance the country's security forces. Mansouri proposed to cut all central bank funding for the state while reforms are implemented to save what is left of its depleted cash reserves. Lebanon has been governed by a caretaker cabinet with limited powers for more than a year and has been without a president for nine months.